how do you think we should, first of all, disclose that information to everyone? Should we disclose that? And second of all, how should we engage? Should we even try to send a, you know, a signal to them saying, hey, how are you? We're, we're neighbors. It's cool out here in the universe, right? Right. Well, before we get to this fun speculation, let's just rewind our mind to the beginning of our conversation where we talked about the reported discovery of phosphine on Venus. Remember, is the signal real? Is it attributed to the right gas? If it is attributed to the right gas, does it mean there's life or is it just a volcano or something else? So just to hit the point home, it's going to be a long time before we all agree. It might be a case where one of us finds a sign of life, but it's not believed for generations until we're all dead and people have much more sophisticated telescopes or something. So think that's kind of a weird moment to think because in the movies, it's always like a definitive moment. Yes, we found it. It could be just so gradual that it's almost not even really noticed. You know that for you, I'm going to assume that you and some listeners, the fact that there are exoplanets out there, planets around stars other than the sun, that's a fact to you. It might be something that you might not remember when it was first heralded as a huge discovery because it was a very slow acceptance over a decade or so that people went from there are these signals, but they might not be real, to wow, there are actually exoplanets. So it may not be this like instantaneous moment that we know there's life. But all that said, I love your question. I love thinking about whether there's life there every, and what we would do with it. First of all, you know, if we do find a sign of life elsewhere and they have the kind of telescopes we have or we're hoping to build, they're already going to know we're here. So we won't have to worry about do we, send, do we let them know we're here? Do we send them a message? Because they're probably going to know we're here. And the first sign that we're here is likely going to be oxygen gas. It's not going to be big things like the Great Wall of China or pollution or city lights, but it's a gas that fills our atmosphere to 20% by volume. And they might even be able to guess that we're not just bacteria. They might be able to guess we're complex life because oxygen gives a lot of energy and can allow like complex life to be here. So I kind of avoided your question, really. I would, I mean, come on, like, wouldn't you just want to send them a message? I, I would, but after I saw the three body problem, the series, I didn't read it. Oh, I love that. I love the book. I read the book. I should read the book. Yeah. Because the, the series was just like. It was, it, it was insane. I don't want to spoil it to our listeners who haven't uh, seen it or read it. But after I saw the, the TV show, I was like, maybe we should, you know, we have the lottery here. Should we just? Right. Maybe we yeah. shouldn't message them. And we should think that even if they know we're here, they might not know much about us. Right, right. In the case of the three body problem, yeah, we don't want to spoil it. And nor can I remember whether or not they knew we were here, or whether we let them know we're here. But in the case that they already know we're here, you're right. Maybe we shouldn't tell them about our planet because it's a beautiful planet. Yes, and it it it's it goes. I don't wanna like I wanna go deep into the three body problem because it's such a good read and 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 watch as well in the, on on TV that I don't wanna spoil it. But it it also uh, touches on your your notion that it's gonna be a gradual understanding. Uh, it's gonna be a gradual grasp that maybe there is life out there. Uh, they very briefly they it, it happens like in a two hundred year three hundred year basis uh, everything uh, on that uh, TV show and and the book so I think that also brings me to you know the controversial not controversial what every anyway uh, our re- listeners and previous guests uh, I post I've hosted many who think this is controversial or not the UFO problem. Do you think that we are on that gradual uh, aspect of it? You know, the UFO sightings, the the, the pictures, the pixelated pictures, uh, the statements on the on Capitol Hill, you know, on, on, uh, in front of Congress. Do you think we're on that era of of you know realizing that actually aliens have visited us, Professor? No, and I want to go back to our three questions: Is the signal real? I mean, people are disputing that. But some signals do appear to be real. They're definitely something. Number two was, remember, is this 
is the signal attributed to the right gas or in this case the right structure? I mean, that one people aren't in agreement on. And then finally, if we agree the signal's real and it's attributed to, to an actual flying object, three, is it attributed to life, in this case UFO, or is it just something else, like a new type of like a new type of airplane weapon kind of thing? So none of those those same three questions that I face in my world, they are really applicable to UFOs as well. And if you read the the documents carefully, like the fact that the United States Congress did a study, it doesn't legitimize that it's a UFO. If you read it, they boil it down, and you'd have to look through it yourself and fact check, but it's just like the tiniest fraction, like a percent, excuse me, a percent or something of all the sightings are unaccounted for into what they, their sources. And you could say, okay, that means there's a UFO. Or you could say, I don't know what it is. It's, it's, uh, it's unaccounted for. So we can't just jump to what we want it to be. So what can we do about this? We need to get more data, better data. I do support that. That if we have a chance and a pilot or someone sees something strange going on, we need like more facts, not just an image that we... It sounds, okay, it sounds a lot like this phosphine thing, an image that's pixelated that we have to do something to to get the signal. It's got to be more than that, more robust. It's got to have real, really hard like velocities or momenta or, you know, measurements that go with it. I'm not working in this area, so I don't know the best way to do those measurements. But I'm with you and everyone else about being so intrigued. And I don't blame people for hoping that these unidentified objects are due to aliens, but I don't have any reason right now um, to, to, you know, I don't have any reason to support the UFO alien idea or that we're on the cusp of looking back. We'll say that was the first time we saw it. Well, the only search that I have for, for you know,